So, uh, so my name is Nils Ardenoplev. I'm the director of the film Daniel. And I'm Diane Foley, the mother of James Foley, who was killed by ISIS, and also the founder of the James Foley Legacy Foundation. James Foley was Danish? No, no he, he was American. American. So but they were both kidnapped and held together along with 16 other Western hostages. When was this? When did this take place? 2012 to 2014. Right I, I think I remember this story. Yes. Yeah. Well, Jim's so. a murder was broadcast around the world. Yes, yeah. yes. So why the did, Danish, why the did you want to do this? Well, because How did you get involved? Let me ask you that. Well, the thing is that uh, a very good friend of mine who's an actor in Denmark, he brought me this book and asked if I would direct it and actually let him co-direct it. So I took him on as a co-director. We've done six films together and he plays the negotiator in the film. It's called Arthur. What's his name? Uh, his name is Anders Bertelsen. And he found this book that was written by a um, Danish journalist called Puk Damsgaard that's, that's become a the book has become a bestseller in Scandinavia. And that was about Daniel Rye, who got kidnapped, and how he ended up in a cell with James Foley, and how they became friends, and how the, uh, you, the, the philosophy, you could say, with James's way of looking at things, kind of saved Daniel, gave him his spirit back to believe he would get out of captivity. This so, is remarkable. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What it's a beautiful so, film. It must be. So when I read the book, be. and uh, I really thought that, and of course I knew that James had died under these tragic circumstances, but I really wanted to bring his message out, and Daniel's message out, because one of the remarkable thing about both of them was they went through these terrible things, they got tortured and beaten and this terrible captivity, but none of them became bitter, and none of them felt revenge against the people who did it to them, which of course was ISIS, and uh, and uh, particularly the young uh, four Brits that was uh, that was nicknamed the Beatles, uh, was the ice the uh, because they had British accents. And yeah, that's why they were from they... East London, but became Syrian warriors. And I wanted to examine how you could go through something so um, terrible and then not feel revenge and anger and bitter and let that ruin your life. That and was, that's really that was the inner, the all inner. of them that felt that way, or was there a particular person who really led that challenge, or really? Well, that came from James. It came from Bowling. James. Came from James. Film. Okay. And, and okay. he and he he gave it on to Daniel, and and in that way saved Daniel, although and he every, tragically could not save himself. Oh my gosh, this is remarkable. What was the foundation of his belief? What, how did he have the strength of character? To, well, to maintain I think he was that. well. He was well and brought up. No, well, Jim, Jim was uh, an average American kid. He grew up in the church. You know, he was just always a good person. Had this heart for others. So, um, you know, he he happened to be kidnapped in a time there were a total of 18 Westerners at one point altogether from all over the, you know, the our allies, you know, the British, Danish, Italians, French, Spanish, um, and the last um, European hostage to get out was Daniel. And he, Everybody else he memorized a letter from our son to, so within 48 hours of his release, he called us to share that letter. And those were the last words we, we, we heard from Jim, so it's very- You're the mother? Yes. Oh my yeah. God! <laughs> oh. So, anyway, so this film is very important to us. I mean, uh, there was another um, film, Jim, the James Foley story, that came out at Sundance. What year was that? 2014, maybe? Yeah. No, no, no. maybe late. No, 2016. 16. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right when we were yeah. starting. And, and then yeah. Daniel afterwards wrote his story. That's the book he's talking about. The, very powerful story by a Danish writer, and they yeah. brought it to me. Is this translated into English? Oh, yes. Yeah, this, oh. this, the film is in Danish, English, French, and Arabic. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And so it's, it's a co-production, you, you know, with, with actually with Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Jordan, where wow. we shot the Syrian part. Oh, we also shot in New Hampshire a little bit, where this film ends. So, uh, it's a... 
it's a tough but very emotional, compelling film. And you had your world premiere here in Santa Barbara? Yeah, no, we had the U.S. premiere. The US. film has, okay. has premiered in Denmark and is the most seen film last year. Wow. And then it has gone to Cairo Film Festival and to uh, Goa and India. But this is the first time that it's shown in the West in, uh, and in America. Thank you so much for sharing this. Thank uh, you very do you much. show it's it a, again this week somewhere? It's showing tomorrow at 11.40. Where? In, uh, what is it called? One of Met our theaters. Metro, Met Metro. Metro, yes, Metro. the Metro. Metro. Yeah. Thank you so much. Be sure to come see it. Oh, thank yeah, you. you should. Thank oh, you my gosh. Bring my a pleasure. handkerchief. Oh, I will do. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you very much.